Good morning, morning Gators. I'm Megan. And I'm Hannah. It's Thursday, March 6th. And you're watching KGTR. Megan, I have a huge problem. What? What am I going to do now that basketball and soccer season are over? You could just go to a baseball game. It's baseball season? Yeah. But I'm not ready for basketball and soccer to be over. Then let's go to Wendy for some highlights on the basketball and soccer seasons. Thanks, guys. The basketball team is still on their way to victory. After smashing their way through district, the Gators have officially three-peated their season for the district title. Here, Cameron Thompson, a senior, has advice for next year. Having fun with my teammates, just being out there, scoring baskets, playing defense, diving on the floor, doing all types of stuff. That's, why, that's one of the best things ever, having fun with your teammates. And thank you for coming to every single game, being there, supporting us, and uh, being the loudest fan for the Swamp, being the loudest one this year. Toronto Lawson, a new household name, has been memorialized in Captain Tree history by appearing in Channel One's Play of the Week. Uh, when I made the shot, the reaction of the crowd, it was amazing. I mean, just having all those people come up to me hug me, I felt like a superstar. I mean, they had an amazing atmosphere. They had a great fan in class of 14. And I hope that through my junior year and my senior year that it keeps going. Shreve has an amazing crowd. I love my school and I wish the best for it. I wish we could keep that same thing going as we had. Congratulations, Bronco. The boys' varsity soccer team traveled to Covington to play St. Paul's. The undefeated team came home with a loss, but their season proved to be successful nonetheless. Andrew Doty was chosen as the season's so MVP. St. Paul's are ranked number two. They're a pretty good team, but they weren't unbeatable. I just feel, you know, we could have played a better game, but it is. The quarterfinals game was held on February 18th, and the game ended the season. However, next year, the underclassmen will take over. Um, we haven't been to the quarterfinals or past second round in over four years, and uh, which is really exciting. That's always fun, and uh, it's not an easy road to take because you're always going to play the best teams in the state, no matter what seed you are. So uh, to build on it next year. Work hard, that's all you can really do. You never know where you're going to fall. The soccer team encouraged and pushed each other to go through to the quarterfinals along with the new coach, Coach Slack. So we all knew how hard each other worked, and we saw how close we've come to um, being a great team. We knew we had opportunity to win state, so just not wanting to let each other down. That's what the coach said. It was a huge group attitude thing. So we were all like, you know, modest, and it was a good team attitude. From goals to free kicks, the boys had many great plays that led to a fantastic season. My favorite play would have to be a slide tackle I made against their lines and stopped them from scoring late in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> for a way to worship God in a laid-back environment with other Christians who love the Lord, then come to Impact. Impact is designed for high school students to be able to make a lasting impact on their school campuses and in the lives of their friends. Impact has a live band that leads worship each week with some of the top songs in worship music. 
We meet every Wednesday night from 7.30 to 8.30 at Broadmoor Baptist Church, located at 4110 Uri Drive. For more information, call 318-868-6552. We'd love to see you there. I guess I'm just going to have to accept that the winter season's over. I hope we have a winning spring season, too. Hmm. What else is going on this spring? Are we going to have a Gators for Good Carnival this year? Oh, yeah, and this year it's going to benefit 2010 alum Kelly Henley. Hey, Liam, could you tell us more about Kelly? On March 13th from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m., we are hosting our annual carnival. The carnival this year is going to benefit Kelly Henley, who graduated from Captain Tareem in 2010. Kelly recently had a double lung transplant. This surgery is where they replace both of your lungs because your lungs no longer work properly. After the surgery, Kelly had to spend two weeks in the hospital on an artificial lung called an ECMO. The reason her lungs no longer work properly is because she has a disease called cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis, commonly known as CF, is a genetically transferred lung disease. Since this is a recessive gene, it is only a one in four chance that you will get this disease. Kelly Henley was a girl that went to our very own school that had this disease. This disease causes thick mucus to build up in your lungs and other organs. Because of this buildup, you become prone to infections, and these infections are immensely harder to fight off than for your average person. Kelly says that the common cold would put her in the hospital. The average CF patient goes into the hospital every two to three months for two weeks at a time. She said that the older she got, the harder it was for her to fight the infection. This caused her to go into the hospital more often and for longer periods of time. Even though CF affects your lung functions, Kelly said she could still play softball, cheer, and even had an afternoon job. A lot of people don't get as sick as I did. Um, it just depends on how you take care of yourself. And I did take care of myself, but, you know, it's all in the hands of God, in my opinion. So he was just ready for me to get a new lungs and a new life. So that's what happened. And I'm very blessed to have gotten lungs because a lot of people aren't fortunate enough to, to get them. And I was. After the surgery, she said that it was easier to breathe and she doesn't have to take breathing treatments anymore. One of the downfalls is that she doesn't have the immune system she once had because of all the anti-rejection medication she has to take. Although Kelly has new lungs, the medication she has to take is very expensive. Her insurance covers some of the costs, but not all of it. Cystic fibrosis is not very, you know, a lot of people don't know about it. It's not famous, like breast cancer or something. So anything to get the word out about cystic fibrosis is remarkable, you know, and it's awesome that people are so willing to help other people, you know, and I've already gotten a lot of donations and I, like it brings tears to my eyes that people would actually, you know, donate this amount to me and some people didn't even know me, you know, so, but I mean, I'm very thankful. Don't forget to come out and support Kelly at the carnival on the 13th. Now back to Hannah and Megan. We're going to have a quick shout out to our sponsors, Southern Classic Chicken, Thomas and Thomas, Talent and Skills Barbershop, The Feaster Family, The Bundrick Farm Partnership, The Doty Family, and Be Safe Driving School. Well, that's all we have for today, Gators. That's Hannah. And that's Megan. And thanks for watching KGTR. KGTR.